Alright? It's good, man. It's your boy Head Tech. Alright, so this is part two of a video that I put together um, where I was down in Lab Major in the last video. And, you know, I actually was going to um, mess with all the drums that we recorded with my brother down there up here. Um, and actually, I might as well just show you what I do in Audacity. I'm going to give you the rundown, finally. A lot of people have been asking about uh, Audacity, you know, what is it or, or how do I use it or whatever. So um, I hope you guys can kind of see the, the computer screen. Um, well, I hope it translates well on, on the video here. So I'm going to kind of give you this rundown, all right? We're basic. All right. Well, okay, I hope you guys can hear me because I'm behind the webcam now. So here's pretty much the interface of Audacity. Um, it's a free download. You just go to Google, check it out, get Audacity. It's free. If you're an MP500 user, um, this is going to actually help your production um, you know, tenfold because you're not going to waste a lot of time trying to chop up and slice samples in the, in the MP itself. You know, if you're a real patient person, um, it's you know, it's okay. You can actually um, do slicing and all that in the 500. But um, I'm a little bit lazy, so um, so here's the interface. I got it open. So pretty much um, all the the drums that I, I had worked on with Crimit downstairs, I just saved as a WAV file, burned them onto a CD, and loaded them in my hard drive down here or up here in, in Lab Miner. So um, so pretty much what you want to do is you want to go to Project, Import Audio. All right, so we'll just take uh, the one we did. I just saved it as track one. Got lazy. All right, so there we go. Um, it it loads up the waveform and some snares. Right, I didn't really do any mixing or anything downstairs because I wanted I could do all that up here in Audacity. You know, uh, what else do we got? Some flams, yeah. Maybe some of the drum uh, beats that he did. So that's all the stuff we did in the last video. All right. So pretty much uh, with Audacity, it's real user friendly. <clears throat> um, say, for instance, you wanted to, um, you know, grab a snare, and you know, this is the same if you um, just pull anything off a record, some samples, or if you pull anything off MP3s. Um, you got your song file loaded up in here, and um, you pretty much just um, click and highlight. I hope you guys can see that a little section. So this would be a snare, right? And uh, you pretty much uh, this little blue bar kind of determines how much of the sample you're going to be grabbing. So with snares, um, you want to kind of um, you know start right at the beginning, pull it over. I want a little bit of decay, so I'm going to kind of, okay, get as close to the beginning of the hit as possible, because if you go a little bit before that, you're going to have lag when you try to play it on your MPC. You want to hit it on that one note, right? So you highlight that. Um, what I usually do is um, go to effect. I amplify if it needs it, amplification. Um, you kind of just mess around with it. Okay, uh, maybe a little bit louder. It might clip a little bit. Okay, there you go. It makes it a little bit louder. Um, you can also go to effect and um, compress it if you want. Since I didn't compress anything down there, uh, I might do it up here. Let's see how it sounds right now. Yeah, just add a little bit of compression. You don't want to over compress, but if you like that sound, it's all right too. Um, and you can also go to effect and you can EQ it. I kind of like how it sounds already, but um, you know, also um, there's noise removal. If you if you got a lot of fuzz or hiss, you know, from from a sample off a record, um, it, you know, I'll go over noise noise removal a little bit. So, anyways, um, I'm highlighting this snare. Then what you want to do is go to File and go down to where it says Export Selection as Wave. It's a WAV file. That's what your MPC is going to recognize, you know. So pretty much, you click that. It's going to ask you what um, folder you want it to go into. Hopefully, you guys are real clean with um, with your folders, and and you you know if you have a folder just for drums, a folder just for bass, just for snares, kicks, whatever, do it however you want. Be real clean. Um, I'm just going to go to Head Tech Drums. It's got that little roll in there. You can take however much you want. Um, 
if I'm going to assign, these, assign all the uh, samples to my pads, I want to kind of leave a little bit of room at the end. So it's like if you wanted to just have like a basic little um, four bar beat, that's cool, but leave yourself a little bit of room. So here's two, three, four. You could grab just that, but um, I'm going to leave a little bit extra. Two, three, four, one, two. Just a little bit of a little bit of extra room, just in case you need it, you know. And um, obviously on the MPC, um, you don't have to use all of it. You can, um, you know, just use that little snid bit. So again, select export selection as wave. Head tech drums. I'll put primit break one. Save that. And it goes in there just. Now that I've actually chopped up everything in Audacity, I took a little bit of time, took some snares, some kicks, some hi hats, all that. Um, I want to be able to put them into my MPC. So again, I saved everything into a folder, <coughs> and you you uh, you could plug your MPC into your computer via USB. Once you connect it into your computer, um, on the MPC itself, you want to hit mode, and then pad two, which is load and then scroll over with the wheel all the way until it says USB connected. That way you know your USB is live with the computer, you know? So, um, right here this little screen comes up and that's pretty much your re removable disk which is actually your, you know, your MPC. Open folder to view files. Here's a whole bunch of stuff I have on the, um, the memory card on my MP, you know what I mean? Okay, so I saved everything to my external hard drive, right? So I want to, uh, Open up the, let's see, where the hell did I put everything? <laughs> Audio wave samples. Okay, Chrome Jones. Okay, so this whole folder right here has got everything in it that I just pulled. There's a lot in there, but I'm going to take more later. This is just for all intents and purposes for you guys. So you pretty much, um, you got your MPC window open here, right? And you got your file open here. So I'm going to take this folder, just easily just drag it over to your MPC. And it's gonna just give it a minute or so to kind of um, upload into the into the MPC memory card. All right, now that I've got um, all those samples uploaded into the memory card on the MPC, I want to be able to you know load them uh, or assign every sample to the pad. So what you want to do pretty much is hit mode again, pad two, which is load, and it's gonna say load, um, you know, program load whatever. Hit your right cursor go to where it says load sample right choose the folder wherever you have your samples loaded into um, so you can actually scroll through and each sample should be represented there I'm sorry you can't really see it here on the video I apologize but if you want to hear each one just hit play there's one hat there's another one so you can choose what what sounds that you want to load to each pad hats open. some snares Right, so I'm going to load, say, a, a kick drum. Right, so um, pretty much what you want to do is um, push the pad number you want to assign it to, or actually choose your choose your your sample. Hit hit the do it button. It says assign to pad whatever bank you want to have it in. It doesn't matter. I usually use drums on A, and I hit pad one. Hit do it again, and it's there. And you go through and say I want a, a hi hat, you know. Choose hi hat, hit do it, assign to pad two, just hit pad two, do it. And there it is. And you just go all the way across the board and you choose whatever you want to put into each uh, pad. Alright, so I took some time. Signed everything. You guys know how to do that, I'm sure. Um, I like that one right there. I actually like samples a little loop of him actually playing, you know, and then uh, on on um, pad bank B, I kind of put little drum breaks. You could use those, you can speed them up, EQ them, do whatever you want. Pretty much your basic rundown of Audacity, you know, it's real simple. You could take bass or horns or guitars, anything that you hear inside of a song, whether you have an MP3 or uh, that you just kind of pull into Audacity and convert into a wave or if you take stuff off vinyl, you, there's actually a record feature on Audacity where you can just throw, um, hook your uh, turntable into the computer and just hit record, you know, and it'll record for you. So it's so user-friendly. 
And I'm telling you, this Audacity is a great tool if you've got the 500. It saves you a lot of time. Um, and, you know, I just, if you guys have any more questions about Audacity, just hit me up. I'm still kind of learning how to use the program, too. I mean, I, you know, it's real similar to Adobe Audition or CoolEdit Pro, stuff I've already used. Um, so, you know, if you have any questions, I'll try to figure out, you know, the solution to whatever uh, questions you may have. So, thanks again. I'm glad you guys got to see what we did down in Lab Major. Of course, meet my brother Krim at the kit. Uh, he'll be in some more videos a lot later, as well as my brother uh, Daniel. So, stay up, you guys. Merry Christmas, and we'll see you next vid.